Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be updating you on the Fafa grass system that we just put together two weeks ago and I am going to be transplanting some of those things out into the big garden because they are ready. So here is the bamboo Fafa grass 12 pod system that we put together two weeks ago in a video. Um, you can see blueberries swimming around in the background there and I only have a couple of sprouts left. I've been using them and cleaning them out and there's like a few that I missed that sprouted. I need to get more in here, but blueberry is doing good. Everybody wave hi to blueberry. Okay, so in our system here, we have two rows here, which are cucumbers and everything looks pretty good. Actually, most of them sprouted. So some of them I have two plants in, which we are going to try to pull at least one apart and see how it goes. If it doesn't go well, then I'll probably just plant them as is or maybe just snip one of them off whichever one looks a little smaller and let the other one make sure it has room to grow there is one pod in the back here that did not sprout so out of six pods only one didn't come up for the cucumbers so that's not too bad i also did not reseed these which i said i was going to do but i also was thinking about it and i kind of wanted to just give you guys a really realistic review on sometimes how the germination really goes with these things. So these are the original seeds that I put in here. I did not reseed anything else, so the germination is just what it is here. Um, the next row we have some zucchini, which we had two plants come up, and the third one here in the back is empty. Starting to make me think that there might have been something going on with the back row, but I'm not so sure. And on this end row over here, we planted calendula, and we had one of those come up, and it's quite small. The rest of them did not come up, so just one out of the three there came up. Now, the germination rate of these plants really doesn't have a lot to do with the system itself. Sometimes it has more to do with the seed than anything. Also, temperature fluctuations in your home, things like that. Right now, it is really hot outside, so we're running the air conditioner inside. And so it's a little cooler now inside than it is like during the winter months when I was seed sprouting before and had a lot of seeds coming up. Um, but sometimes regardless of what you do, and even if you had amazing seeds and perfect conditions, sometimes seeds just don't come up and that's just kind of the name of the game. So I'm pretty happy with this germination rate. I think the um, cucumbers did really well. I'm really happy with those. Um, like I said, most of both of the seeds that I planted in those sponges came up. So the germination rate on those was really good. Um, I'm happy with the zucchini. I have two plants. I planted three. And the calendula is a little eh, but it is what it is sometimes. Now to take these outside, I am just going to pull them up out of their thing here. I'm going to check out the roots real quick. Look pretty good. And I'm going to leave them inside their baskets for now. And we're just going to place them in the bowl and try not to break off any of their leaves. Just place them down nicely inside here. And then when we go to plant them, I will gently pull them out of their baskets, which I will show you. This guy's pretty tiny still. He kind of just germinated in the last couple of days, um, but it should, should still be fine. And this one, all the roots look really nice and white and beautiful. They look really good. You don't want your roots getting like super brown and mushy. That's something to look for in hydroponic systems. If your roots are getting really brown and mushy, it's probably because you need to clean your system. And you can go ahead and clean your system uh, out, which I've done videos in the past about cleaning that I can link below in the description if you'd like. It's pretty much all the same for most systems. Um, but And then you can go ahead and trim off those brown and yucky looking roots because you want your roots to be nice and white like this. Let's see what the roots are like on this guy. Oh yeah. Nice, love it. Oh, that one's nice and long too, and he's not, not quite as big as the other one. Okay, and then I'm not expecting much from this calendula whatsoever. Oh, yep, one, one baby root. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so now we can take our started plants up to the garden and I'll show you how I plant those. 
to get a plant out of one of these baskets, it's not necessary to cut them or break them in or anything. I reuse my baskets all the time unless something really happens to it. Um, you can just reuse them. But what I like to do is just kind of start to push up from the bottom and squeeze. Because these are sponges, quite a lot of water can come out of them and they can get a little bit smaller. And just start to squeeze and push up through and then just real gently pull him out. Now you will sometimes lose roots, especially if the root system is really large and um, it's really tangled. You will lose some roots, but generally this is still more than enough roots for the plant and it does just fine. Now I am kind of assessing this little sponge here and trying to determine whether or not we should try to pull him apart. Um, I think I am just gonna leave him alone because I don't know, this is like my third crop of cucumbers that I've tried to start up in this garden. I think I'm just going to leave well enough alone right now. You can try to just separate them by breaking the sponge and just slowly pulling them apart, kind of teasing the roots apart. I've showed you stuff like that before, um, so it's really quite easy, uh, but you do run the risk of the plant not taking it very well and dying. So to plant our cucumber, we're just going to dig a little hole here and just pop him down inside and you're going to put him at soil level with the sponge and he should be really happy that we just had a ton of rain last night like a deluge of rain so the soil is very moist he should be nice and happy there okay so i popped three cucumbers here and two over here so Hoping they'll do, they do okay. This was the first, this was part of the first batch of cucumbers that I did. It looks absolutely horrible, but I don't have the heart to pull him out yet because he's still somewhat alive. This is the second batch of cucumbers that I planted. These are obviously doing better. Well, most of them are. A few of them look like this, but most of them are looking pretty good. And then this will be the third round of cucumbers. Thankfully, we have a long enough growing season that I can still put more in. Um, cucumbers don't love the super, super hot though, so I'm hoping these do okay. We'll see. It's just, it's just going to be a gamble on cucumbers this year. Okay, so for our zucchini, it's the same thing, but I just wanted to show you pulling out a little bit more of an extensive root ball. So same thing, just squeezing and pushing up through. And then just taking your time, just lost a few roots on that. And we'll just dig a hole and plant him right here. Make sure that you get all of the roots down inside the hole. I will say that you don't want any of those roots exposed to any air. Um, so we're just going to get him down in there. That was a little deep. You want him to be soil level and not much deeper than that. And once he roots in, he'll be fine and stand right back up. So here's this one, squeeze him out gently, and then just pulls right out. Lastly, we have our lone little calendula plant here, and I'm actually just going to tuck him in the corner of the bed where we just planted the zucchini. We have a little space here, and I think it would be pretty. Um, there's a little bit of mold on the top of the soil sponge. You can really just wipe mold and fungus off. At first, when I was doing the, the um, hydroponics and stuff, I got really concerned about that when I was trying to figure out how to stop that. Um, but really, if you just wipe it off, it's not that big of a deal. So we're just going to plant this guy here and say a little prayer for him. Hope that he continues to grow and is happy and fills up this little corner with some sunshine. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I'm hunkering down in the shade of the tomatoes behind me. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on the fafa grass system and how well those plants were doing. Um, that's two weeks of growth. So for some of those plants, that's really nice. Um, they look really healthy and really good, which is always encouraging. 
Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you how to, if you are seed starting, how to transfer those seedlings into your gardens. So you obviously need to get new sponges every time, but make sure you just reuse your baskets um, because they are completely reusable. Also, any sponges that do not produce anything, so like those sponges where I had no seeds come up, um, typically I'll make sure that there's no excessive mold or anything like that growing in them and then pull any seeds that I can see that are still remaining in that sponge and then I'll just reuse that sponge because it hasn't been um, destroyed in any way. It's perfectly safe to use it again and try another seedling in it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them and we will see you in the next one.